Minecraft, but you can trade with biomes. Before I showcase the data pack, I would like to mention that this data pack only works in the version 1.20.4 and it does not work in any other version, so please make sure you're using the version 1.20.4. Anyways, to trade with biomes, you want to grab one emerald and four short grass and put it in a crafting table like this. Craft it and you'll get two biome gems. So to trade with a biome, you basically want to enter a biome, throw the biome gem on the ground, and you'll be able to trade with it. So the biomes that you can trade with are forests, for example, birch forest and dark oak forest, the desert, the nether wastes, the deep dark jungle biomes, so bamboo jungles, sparse jungles, and snowy biomes. So stuff like ice spikes and snowy plains. So basically, each biome will trade two vanilla items and one custom item. And now I will showcase the custom items. The first item is the blowgun traded by the jungle. It has one ability, which is when you right click, you shoot a poisonous slime ball. So if I shoot this horse, he'll get damaged and poisoned. The next item is the Gift Blaster traded by Snowy Biomes. It has one ability, which is when you right click, it shoots an explosive gift that drops OP items. So when I shoot that cow, it explodes and drops overpowered items. That's a lot of diamonds. The next item is the Sandstone Staff traded by the Desert. It has three abilities. The first ability is when you right click, you shoot a sand beam that spawns a sandstorm that damages and slows enemies. So if I shoot this horse right here, it spawns the sandstorm and it damages the horse. Keep in mind that you have to be holding the sandstone staff in your main hand so that you don't get damaged by the sandstorm even though you spawned it. So if I spawn one right here and don't hold it, I'm taking damage. The next ability is when you sneak with the staff, you get boosted upwards by sand. Just like that. The final ability is when you hold it in your main hand or off hand, you get slow falling so you don't take any fall damage. The next item is the Skulk Longsword that is traded by the Deep Dark. It has two abilities. The first ability is when I right click, I shoot a sonic beam attack that does a lot of damage and goes through walls. So as you can see, I have a husk right here and a wall right here. If I use the ability, it goes through the wall and kills the husk. The next ability is when you hit an entity with the Skulk Longsword, it applies a Skulk effect to them and damages them over time. So if I hit this horse, if I hit this husk, he will get damaged over time by the Skulk effect. The next item is the Molten Bow traded by the Nether Wastes. It has three abilities. The first ability is when you keep it in your inventory, you get Fire Resistance. The next ability is when you right click, you shoot free fireballs that does a lot of damage and destroys the environment. And for the final ability, when you sneak, you shoot a magma beam that when it collides with an entity, traps them in magma blocks so they suffocate over time. See, he's dying. And for the final item, we have the advanced wooden pickaxe traded by the forest. The first ability is if you are standing on wood, logs, or planks, and the pickaxe is in your inventory, you will get some potion buffs. The final ability is if you sneak, you will be able to throw the pickaxe that drills a big tunnel for you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!